Hey, we're here at S Shops Cool Tees for Claremore Cool, and we've got a new guest today. This is a famous person out of Claremore. This is Shelby the Bug Girl. Say hi, Shelby. Hi. Today we're going to talk to her about some of her animals, and I'm going to ask her a few questions that we worked up ahead of time and let you guys get to know her. Uh, Shelby's got a few things out there right now. TMZ, and we did a six. Uh, they had a, a sixty second uh, documentary on you. Yes. And who else you uh, spoke with about your collection I spoke of bugs? With the news, Wanderama, and TLC. Oh, very cool. Um, before we get into the questions stuff, I thought maybe you want to show off some of your little critters here you brought today. What's this guy's name? This is Boomerang. Boomerang, huh? That's a cool name. Well, how'd you come up with Boomerang? Campbell the Boomerang from the country he is from. Oh, yeah? That's cool. I thought maybe it was the hamburgers down at the Boomerang uh, Cafe downtown. Yeah. No, not that, huh? He's cool. Now, he's a, he's a bearded dragon, right? Yep. Okay, what else you got here? I have roaches. Ooh. I have a death head roach. Oh, that's cool. Now, why do they call him the death head? They call him death head because you look at the head, they have like, kind of like a skull oh, yeah? on, their forehead, on their head. Well, you know, if I wasn't so old and blind, I could probably see that a lot better, huh? <laughs> so if you look there, it looks like the top of his skull, so it's called a death head. That's very yeah. neat. That's very cool. They're is very this fast. Is this a local roach, or where does he come from? Um, if I am correct, the death heads are native to, I think it's, I can't remember that. That's okay. Yeah. We can look that up later. We'll just edit that in. Just kidding. We don't edit it. <laughs> so what else we got going here, Shelby? What's in this one here? Here. Oh, sure. Yeah, please do. Fast. He's fast, huh? Well, if he's real fast, let's put the lid on there because uh, I don't want uh, the uh, my uh, my little assistants here running for the for the door. I need a camera person, nope. you know. So. Nope. That's okay. Let him run around. He, he won't hurt. He's good. I'm just making sure he won't fall anywhere. Man, what's in here? Okay, these guys are my question mark roaches. Okay. These what? guys are native to India. Question mark roaches? Why do they call them that? Call them question mark because on the side right here they have a little question mark shape. Oh, sure not. Oh, yeah, that's like the Riddler of bugs, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, very neat, very neat. Are these, uh, so how many species do you have at your house now? I have 13 species of roaches and then three other species of insects. Very cool. Now, uh, besides this, you brought a snake as well. Do you want to show him off right quick? He's a very pretty snake, too. It's a cool looking snake. Now, where are these guys? This snake here, what kind of snake are you going to show? I have a corn snake. Yeah. Where are they indigenous to? They're from around here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, he's big. Very neat. And I named him Severus off of Harry Potter. Ah, very cool. My son, who's off camera right now, he's a big Harry Potter fan himself, so he'll probably appreciate it. Did you know that when she mentioned that earlier, Peyton? Yeah. Very cool. Mind if I hold him for a second? Yeah. Oh. Ooh. He feels neat. That is neat. Now that I have the willies, uh, wow. <laughs> Very cool. I appreciate you uh, letting me touch him real quick. I'll let you put him back up, though, so we can go ahead with the rest of the questions. But, yeah, that's cool. Go in your cage. Now, how many Can snakes and lizards do you have? Good girl. I have two lizards, one's at home, it's a leopard gecko. You usually don't bring the big geckos in here because yeah. they're fragile. Yeah. And so. this is my snake at snake. My first one was a corn snake and it died from random cause. I don't know why. Mm. Well, that's, so, I hate to hear that. Go in. Go in. Go in. Now, what did you say this guy's name was? Severus. Severus. That's right, Severus. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to remember that name or be able to pronounce it correctly because I don't want to make the Harry Potter fans upset. So, so get that clear. So. Anyway, we're going to move on to some of these questions that I've got for you. You ready for that? Yep. We'll try to make them quick and as painless as possible. How old were you when you your interest in insects began? I was three years old when my interest began. Yeah, what was there a specific moment that piqued your curiosity? Um, I think the first time I saw a roach. First time you saw a roach, huh? Yeah. What was it about that roach? You just thought it looked neat the way it was yeah. running around? It looked really neat. Yeah, that's cool. Now, I'm sure with all the videos and all the exposure that you had, there's been millions of people see it, of course. Yeah. And I'm sure you've inspired many other kids. Have you had many of those uh, kids reach out to you? This one mom, she has a kid that's eight and nine, and she let them have roaches because of me and telling her how good they were. Oh, cool. 
What, uh, what questions do kids typically give you? I usually get, do they buy or do they get out? That's one of my main questions yeah. I hear. I think that was my wife's question she wanted me to ask, is if they get out too. Yeah. yeah. So what's your answer to that so you can save the trouble of having that I answer? I tell them that virtually I have one up, I am like even well. Good. And they don't get out because I take care of them and I have wet cages with the lids that will really stay shut. Now, when I was a little kid, we used to have a little aquarium thing. Did you find those when you were first starting to collect bugs? Did you find little jars and things like that to put them in? We used to have these plastic containers. Oh, gotcha. Uh, let's see here a little. Outside of roaches, what other insects or critters do you care for? Now, of course, we answered the snakes and stuff. But do you have any yeah. other kind of bugs besides roaches that you like? Yes. I have liver grasshoppers. Then I also have millworms, millipedes, and a vinegaron. Oh, cool. The vinegar is kind of scorpion. It has something that can sting you. It has pinchers in front that can pinch you, and it also sports vinegar at you. Vinegar? Yeah. Wow. Now, have you ever been, uh, have they ever stung you or bit no, you? No, I'm just no. not. I, like, the closest I've been touching it was probably hitting it with, like, a little stick to get it at. So oh. I can get the water in this dish. Right. If you were, if you were a bug yourself, which one would you be and why? I would probably be a bee. A bee? So can help pollinate all the flowers. Oh, that's, I love that answer. Okay. Many companies today are developing insect food products as a sustainable food source for uh, for the future. What do you think about that? I think it would be okay. Yeah? But I wouldn't eat any of them, though. You wouldn't? Just because you like them or you just don't think they taste good? I just don't want to do it. It makes me sad thinking about eating bugs. Mm, I understand. Now, my wife ate a cricket in Thailand one time, and I was too chicken. I couldn't. In some places, people race roaches. Have you ever done that? Actually, did in one of my shows, Wonderama. Really? We raced the death heads. Oh, the death heads, how they uh, do pretty fast. You said yeah. it was fast earlier. So. They're one of the faster roaches. Yeah. Now, do you name your specific bugs? Are you able to do that, or you just have too many? Um, the bugs are just going to fall over there. I don't okay. know. I don't think he can get in that crack, honey. I All think right. he'll be okay. <laughs> um, okay, so do you think it's fair that so many things are named after bugs like cars, bands, and superheroes? But not roaches. Actually, there is a superhero that's named after a bug. She's educating me. Which one is that? Um, she is Rochella, teenage, teenage cockroach. Really? Well, you heard it here. You want to look up what's Rochella, the teenage cockroach? Yeah. Very good. <laughs> I got the first issue of the comic book. Why does that not surprise me? That's pretty neat. I know a lot of comic book people. Maybe I can figure out who that is and get a signed book for it. All right, now that, you know, now you're right up there with Will Rogers, what's it like to be famous? Do you feel any different? Not really. Not really? Do you want to treat you different now, like, oh, there's Shelby? No. No? No. Well, you seem very humble, and you're very good on camera, and very confident young lady, so that's good. Now, we got a few little quick questions here. These will be pop, uh, pop culture type questions, okay? okay? You ready? Yep. What's your favorite movie? Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. How did I know? Favorite band or singer? Karen Oh, very good. She's an awesome singer. Favorite superhero? Um, probably Red Shell. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we kind of covered that, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. All right. And finally, let's see what we got here. Favorite historical figure? My picture. She helped in the revolutionary war, and she's a strong woman. Oh, very good. And person, person you admire the most? Jack Hanna. Jack Hanna. Yeah, me too. I like him a lot. All right. Well, Shelby, I sure appreciate you coming in here and doing a quick little thing for us at Claremore Cool and that Shots Cool Tees or whatever. And is there anything you want to tell anybody before we get off here about your experience with bugs or anything important you think that people should know? Um, I want to tell the people that there's only there's at least 30,000 species of roaches and only about 30 are bad. All right. So when you're thinking about that and you're saying all roaches are bad, that is not true. We, they are very helpful and we're lucky to have them, aren't we? Well, Shelby, thank you so much for coming in my store today. And thanks for sharing your story and your animals with all the people at Clermont. Say bye, Shelby. Bye.